the raven. The raven is a scavenger bird. In Genesis chapter 8 and verse 7, it talks about the ra raven. Ravens are very selfish. Ravens are pictures of demonic spirits, evil spirits. I'm telling you, uh, people, uh, how, many, how many remember the old movie, and they still do them now, uh, the old Alfred Hitchcock movie called The Birds? And I remember that was when I was growing up, and I remember that was a, that scared me to death. And I watched that, and these birds, birds come flying in the house, and birds come in, birds come in flying. It's always, it's always real scary when those birds start coming in. Let me tell you about ravens this morning. They fly restlessly looking for food. You know what they feed on? Carry on. You know what that is? Putrefying guts, roadkill, as me and you would call it. Ravens pray and follow something that's dead. And when they get sold to something that's not like a lamb or, or an, an, an animal that a raven can get, according to Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 17, they pick out their eyes. So a raven will get an animal and go straight for their eyes. Bam! Pluck, peck them out with their beak so that they can't see and disable them. Now, if a raven is a picture of an evil spirit, you guarantee you evil spirits have those same patterns. Everything you can see is a picture of something you can't see. And the Bible tells us all the way through that the fowls of the air are pictures of evil spirits. There are evil spirits flying around. That you can, I, I believe that's why God made birds to fly. Because if we got up here and preached, there's spirits flying around. There's good ones and bad ones. There's angels and there's demons. There's the Holy Spirit and unclean spirit. People say, oh, you're crazy. Nothing can't fly. But God put birds in the air to prove to you that spirits can fly. Everything you can see is a picture of something that you can't see. Uh, people wouldn't believe us if it wasn't that way. In 1 Kings chapter 17 and verse 4, God had a good purpose and used those ravens to feed Elijah. So that means God can even use uh, wickedness and the devil sometimes to fulfill his plans in our life. They feed on dead animals. They have a weird sort of a countenance. They, they can smell death. They can, they can uh, come in. Uh, you always see in those scary movies, a bird flies in. The wind, uh, old folks used to say, if a bird comes in the house, it means what? Somebody's going to die. You ever heard that old saying? Now, the Bible don't say that, but there's a reason, old people, some of them old fables and stuff, there's reasons behind people believing those old-fashioned myths like that. But an unclean animal, Leviticus 11.15, tells us that a raven's unclean. And then the Lord turns around and said, his man was possessed with unclean spirits. Now, this is where we lose science. This is where we lose all the medical uh, uh, population, the doctors uh, that don't recognize uh, courtroom judges. They say, why did this young man do this? Why did this young man have supernatural strength? Why does this young man? And they, they try to say he was born with a drug addiction or he was born and raised in poverty and that cause. You know why they believe that? They believe that because they discount what the Bible says about unclean spirits. Now, I'm telling you this morning, more than any other time in history, unclean spirits are out in this world. I've got them on video that when they get on those drugs, especially that flocka, they have superhuman strength. And according to the Bible, a raven is a picture of that. Let me move on quickly. I'm going to talk about the hen. She's a sheltering bird. So the, the raven is a scavenger bird. 